Hey, Sagittarius, how are you guys? I hope you are doing really well. Getting ready to start your reading. Uh, this will be a general collective reading, as always, for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest as always. Okay, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you are having a great start to your week thus far. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for all of your love and support. Oh, the sun in reverse. The heck? Okay. This is the overall energy here. Hmm. Maybe somebody is feeling a lack of success. This could always be you or someone else. So just let the reading kind of unfold, especially if you're new to the channel. Okay. That's how my readings do. Um, so we'll just follow the message as it begins to kind of come out and interpret more. So the sun in reverse is definitely telling me either something here is, is being hidden, something is being obscured in some way. Maybe that's deliberate. Hmm. Maybe that is deliberate. This is interesting because I'm looking at this card. <clears throat> Obviously, we have the sun over here. We have a sunflower, but I'm almost looking at it like... Is a sunflower being obscured? Is somebody obscuring like all of their beauty? Is somebody obscuring here all of their gifts? Like they're hiding away. They're not showing the world who they are. This radiant, beautiful being here. What? Okay, what is going on? Something's definitely being hidden here. All right, so let's keep going. Spirit, let me get one more for Sagittarius, please. Overall energy. Wow. That could very well be what's going on here. We do have the card of judgment. Maybe someone is going through judgment. Maybe they're going through a heavy reflection period at this time. Kind of figuring out who they are. We just kind of had a reading where you were, I felt like some of you guys were really taking stock uh, of who you are and where you've been and stuff like that. And that may very well be what is happening here. That was only a couple days ago. So yeah, someone could also be going through a lot of judgment now let me see who this is actually pertaining to so this could be you or this could be someone who you're dealing with as always so interesting that those two are the overall cards so we have the sun in reverse and we have the, oh okay this may be about someone you're dealing with here let's keep going pantora's box So I can view this two different ways. Pandora's box is generally viewed as a negative, like don't open Pandora's box, or now you've opened Pandora's box, you know what I'm saying? But Pandora's box is full of things that we don't know, we don't understand, you know, and but because we don't know them a lot of times, we can really fear them, right? Um, so usually when we say it, people kind of fear that, like, oh no, I don't want to do that. A lot of times I don't get that, but in this case, I kind of do. I feel like somebody here has opened Pandora's box, okay? And they may not be comfortable. Ooh, okay, well, I'm going to pray this isn't you. I haven't gotten too far yet. I haven't even pulled the tarot, but somebody here, jeez, <laughs> somebody here may be experiencing a lack of success, kind of a halting period. Maybe they were shining at one point and that's kind of being taken away from them. Something like that. Definitely a lack of success here and a strong judgment period here because of something that was done. Somebody could have definitely opened Pandora's box here, okay? I don't know why I feel so strongly about this. It does feel to me like this is someone who could be, let's just say, learning a lot of lessons at this time, okay? Hopefully learning the lessons because I feel like somebody here could be getting... Kind of hammered, if I'm being honest. Hammered with some stuff here. Look, it's being concealed, whatever it is. All right. So this is not something that's being kind of let out to the world here. Or to people that are around them. May not know this fully. Something is definitely being concealed here. So if this is someone who did something to you, maybe it's just not showing up. Or it's actually being hidden from you or concealed from you. And I think that is actually on purpose here. I think so. If this is someone around you, I feel like they're trying to conceal this. I just find this so interesting. Here's the thing. Well, if someone was trying to stop your success here, stop you from growing, okay? Trying to stop you from kind of coming into this, this radiant being or really shining who you are, holding you back in a sense, stifling your talents in a sense, okay? 
keeping you stuck in a sense. I think this person is really open to Pandora's box. That's what I feel here. And they could actually be facing a lot of judgment at this time. Wow, by a higher power here. Holy smoke. Okay, well, your reading is quite clear today. Let's see what is going on here for you guys, Sagittarius. All right, Spirit. Sagittarius, semi rising. And Venus sign. By the way, flip these energies if you need to. You know if you did this to somebody else, Sag. <laughs> I pray that you didn't, but come on. All Sages are not perfect. I like to think we are, but we know that's not true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all have to answer for what we do. We might fool each other. We don't fool God. All right, Spirit, let's see what is going on then for Sagittarius. What card is that trying to come out? Yeah, somebody's trying to keep you stuck. Hang on one second. What's going on for Sagittarius? This shows me that you're coming out of a period of anxiety. You're coming out of a period. Um, I just feel like you're stepping into a period of like relief here. You could have been experiencing some kind of, yeah, you look. Somebody tried to cause you some kind of problems here is what it looks like. This could have been people within your own family or people that were around you that you viewed as family. Um, this shows me that you're going through a healing period, that you're finally finding some kind of relief, even from mental torment. I feel a lot of anxiety that was around uh, maybe a specific situation. It could have been several, but just your life in general here. This shows me now you could be recovering from something as well. You feel like you're recovering. You could have actually reached out to find some kind of help, even with a counselor, okay, therapist of some sort. Yeah, and now it looks to me like you, have you broken from some kind of family? I feel like you've broken from people who you feel misaligned with in terms of fan, uh, in terms of values and stuff, but it could definitely be your family here. Yeah, whatever this situation was, they were definitely not given to you. I think you felt there was definitely an abuse of your generosity here. Wow. I, goodness. Yeah, and you've received some kind of clarity on it due to your own breakthrough here. So this looks to me like you could have... So... <clears throat> You know how some people, a lot of people actually, you know, they will, they're, they're about themselves. They do things in a very one-sided manner. So the relationship becomes extremely imbalanced, right? There's always strings attached to something. Nothing is for nothing, right? So I feel like there was a lot of inequality in whatever this power dynamic was here. You definitely didn't feel like someone was given back to you or to a situation here. And to be honest with you, I think it really took a toll on you. Definitely took a toll on you here. Okay, because I do see, you know, the Nine of Swords is a card about nightmares. It's a card about extreme anxiety. Um, I feel like this is something you were going through. But look at this, Sag. You're coming out of that. You're finding relief now. You've been able to get whatever the help was that you needed. And I feel like you are kind of walking away from this, okay? Due to some kind of breakthrough that you've had, due to some kind of mental clarity and actually seeing the truth here. Yeah, beautiful. Look at this, yes. And you're getting a new outlook on this. Now, you may be going on some kind of retreat, but this is more so to me about some kind of new awareness that you have. Okay, you know that it's time to snap out of it. Whatever this is, it's time to snap out of it. You're accepting it. You're choosing some kind of happiness in your own life. I think someone did not want to see you shine. Okay, someone could, you could be a very happy person, very sweet disposition, you know, kind of happy-go-lucky. So I just kind of have that persona anyway. But actually, it's not even a persona. It's more naturally who we are. But I'm going to say I feel like with the sun in reverse here, somebody wanted to keep this hidden. Whoever you are, this exuberance, this attraction factor that you have, I feel like someone's really trying to keep that hidden here because they know if that comes off, what a radiant, beautiful being I feel like that you are and how brightly you're going to shine. I think that was an issue. Let me see who you're dealing with here. Oh, Ten of Swords energy. It had definitely been a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Come out, spirit. Yeah. 
Well, they definitely feel like you have pulled the plug and you're walking away. This person is sad. Lord have mercy. Okay, so this person is very sad about something. Maybe the regret of whatever this failure was, you know. Maybe maybe this person is feeling a bit abandoned by the... I feel like this was very toxic, sad, of, uh, sad, sorry, sad, if I'm being honest. Look at this, King of Cups. I feel like this situation could have been quite toxic. So I don't know if this was because I see a lot of disagreements and stuff. I can see that people can't get on the same page. I see there was an unhappy home or some kind of disharmony. I definitely feel like you had to walk away from this situation. You had to leave it behind. In whatever way. That could have been energetically just pulling back and going your own way. Receiving some kind of clarity on it. I'm going to tell you. I know this person is saddened and regret because whatever they did here, they've opened Pandora's box. I'm trying to figure out... What the basis of this was for? Why keep Sag stuck? Why try and, and dim their light, so to speak, here? I mean, we can obviously see that a higher power here is speaking, right? A high power here is kind of taking the reins here, okay? And basically open the Pandora's box. Now, this person is kind of suffering. It looks like the same things that they kind of, the same kind of energy that they've had you in. So, somebody here is going through a lot of heavy judgment. And it could definitely be this Scorpio energy here. Let's see what else, Spirit. Isn't that interesting? So this is this a competitor in some way? Was this somebody who was being very competitive with you? Lord have mercy. Who is this person? Somebody completely blew something up here. And I think, oh my gosh. It looks to me like somebody here, the, it just looks like this was like extreme emotional kind of manipulation, honestly. Maybe a bit of narcissistic tendencies here. Somebody could have been emotionally manipulative, certainly in some way. This is a person that does, they like to succeed. They're used to having control of things. I think they like to have a lot of attention as well. I do think this is someone around your family or someone around your home, something like that. Someone who you felt very stable with. It could have also been a friend, okay? Someone that you felt close to and probably that you felt like you could have trusted at one particular time. But honestly, you've. You, I'm seeing right here so clearly you see this thing clearly now, okay? All right? You definitely have accepted that this person is about themselves. But here's the real kicker that I'm not quite getting here. It's almost like they had to keep you down, but they were trying to be the one that was getting attention. They were trying to be the one that was on top having this victory. So I don't know. I'm a little confused here. I feel like I'm dealing with maybe a competitor. Or someone that was very competitive with you. And maybe they felt like the only way to really rise here was to kind of keep you down. Or maybe they didn't want to see you coming up to their level and whatever it is that they were doing. The problem that I think someone did not take into account here is that you were guided by a higher power. I don't know what they're doing here, but cards don't lie. Okay, you are very clearly getting your information from a higher power. You see the frequencies here, right? You're getting your information and your guidance from a higher power. All right, so I'm not really clear why they thought that that would work. Let me ask that. Why were they doing this, Spirit? What is that about? And they were concealing it too. So this could have also been some kind of friend or someone around you in your circle that was trying to hide this that was trying to keep this from you, that could have been obviously trying to paint a picture that was different. I don't know, though. I don't know if this person was that close to you. And some of you, they may have been, but I don't know. That's not going to be the case for all of you guys. For some of you guys, this was someone trying to conceal that they were causing you some kind of trouble here. That person's in heavy judgment. That person's being made to sit down and take a hard look at themselves. Why was this person doing this, Spirit? What is this about? What does Saj need to know about this situation now? Competition. I told you. I knew it. Yeah, there's this person feels 
competitive with you in some way. They feel like, and maybe you guys do have some kind of clash of egos, or maybe they clash, okay, with the way that you think about things or, or who you are. They feel very challenged by that in some way. This could be around work or honestly even family in some way. I really hope this is not about a relationship because I do see a King of Cups here, but I'm viewing it differently today for some reason. If it's a relationship, that person was also competitive with you. That's something that you need to know here. Yeah. Wow. You listen. Okay. The Hermit and the Five of Wands together. You can't make this up. Listen, somebody here is being sat down. Okay. This is somebody that's been very, very competitive with you. Okay. This person could be going through a bit of a dark night of the soul as well in that hermit energy. Okay. This is a person that was very, um, oh, oh wait, I got a two of wands here coming out in reverse too. Sorry, I didn't see it flip. This is a person that's corrupt. Okay. Um, it looks to me like this is someone who maybe exploits other people. This is somebody who may, maybe you knew this about them. I do see you, you understand who this person is now. Okay. This person has made very poor investments in their life. I think they could be a bit of a tyrant here. There's something here about you taking their <laughs> glory. I have no idea why I'm saying this, but it's coming through. So I'm going to say it, taking their glory in some way, maybe taking the, I hate to say the spotlight off of them. So if you're actually in the spotlight or if that just means taking attention off of them, it's something to do with that. This person absolutely was trying to take your shine. They did not want you to kind of step into the fullness of who you are. That is very, very clear to me. All right. You need to know that this person's plans are falling apart and they know that. Okay. They know that. They could have been taking some, I don't know if they were taking action on you or maybe if they were in your life, they could have been someone that was kind of derogatory in the things that they said or did to try and hold you down. Or maybe these were people that were, you know, they didn't encourage you. Instead, they discouraged you on your goals, your dreams, things of that nature. But for some of you, I think this could be somebody who you are either doing the same thing. I kind of feel like some of you are doing the same things as they're doing. And they found you as a threat, okay? There's some kind of competitive stuff that is going on here in their mind anyway. Now, you're the rival. That's the way they view it. You are the rival. So however that kind of resonates with you, give me one more. Wow. <laughs> wow. Look, okay. They clearly misjudged you, clearly misjudged you, okay? I think this whole time you have just stayed steadfast and kind of following your path, certainly listening to a higher power now. This person is really paying a lot, I feel like, for whatever has happened here, whatever they've done here, okay? Whatever, so I see that you were kind of in all of this inner turmoil, but now I'm seeing somebody else here, okay? This person is filled with self-doubt. Uh, they don't feel strong enough for some reason to come against you or whatever they were doing here. They're lacking confidence. They actually feel vulnerable at this time. So I know they're going through a dark night of the soul. I know they're going through a heavy assessment period. And I know that it's being guided by a higher power. But with that being said, it's not just that Pandora's box shows me that many things are happening. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of lessons coming to this person at once. It could also be impacting their success, too, and how people are seeing them. Yeah. yeah, see, all of this truth is being exposed. All of this truth is being exposed. If not already, it will be exposed here. You're going to see uh, some of these things going to light, or maybe you're going to hear about it. Some kind of secrets are being revealed here, I'm telling you. They're being revealed here. You could get a message about that as well. There is the star card. And the magician. <laughs> yeah. Things are definitely being revealed here. So you may actually already have. So I, I'm not going to go into because I know that I'm dealing with a lot of different people here, what could have actually went down, okay? Um, because I feel like it's going to resonate differently for all of you guys. What I do know is that somebody has very clearly tried to keep you stuck. 
maybe in a mindset, in a particular situation, not moving forward in some way, shape or form could have even just been, it not just been, it could have even been energetically, even bound in some way. Okay. So I'm seeing here that there's been some kind of clarity, some kind of understanding, or there will be that's actually coming out to the forefront. So this is the truth actually being exposed. I think someone sees also that you know the truth. So somebody has been watching you to see you know, because I feel like you've been climbing something. So whatever that means, maybe you've continued to do better. Maybe they've watched that, that whatever they've been doing has not really impacted you in the way that they thought that it would. Um, again, you're coming across as very positive. You may be, there may be some renewal going on in your life. Um, other people could definitely be finding you very inspirational, but I feel like there's a deep sense of spirituality here as well. You've healed here in this star energy. Okay. Now, I'm telling you, somebody could have been doing some kind of manipulation on you and definitely on your energy here. I have a Queen of Swords in reverse and the Magician together. All right. This definitely shows me that whoever was doing this could have, well, first of all, they could have been, they could have been a Libra, but it doesn't have to be. It could be anybody, right? But this person is very harsh, very cold, spiteful, okay? Even malicious in a sense here. All right, they want to win, and I feel like they wanted to win at any cost. They deemed you as some kind of competition. They wanted to stop you from growth, from truly, I feel like, shining and from kind of reaching your potential here. How sad is that? This person is suffering. They're struggling. I'm going to get the down. I definitely want to get the, I'm going to get the details on that. In what way? If Spirit will give it to me. <laughs> spirit will give it to me. In what way, Spirit? what way is this person suffering from the oh okay they could have lost their job number one okay wow king of wands in reverse holy smoke yeah so this person oh yeah okay how are they because they're having to leave something behind here this person could have been see i, I mentioned the, the term tyrant before because i was getting that i'm seeing that again Okay, this person, if they were a leader in some kind of power position, it shows me here that they're being viewed as someone very weak, even domineering in a sense, very forceful here. Okay, this person could be losing their job or they could be stuck feeling like they're in some kind of dead end job here. Okay, I feel like this person honestly has almost lost motivation as well. So if they were trying, especially with energy and stuff like that, I feel like their energy could be quite low at this time. But listen, I feel like somebody might be losing their job or losing some kind of income that is around them. Wow, I just said they could be really tired. This card is about exhaustion. I'm telling you, this person feels extremely overwhel uh, overwhelmed. That is a card about admitting defeat to surrendering. Here, look at that. Would you look at that? Surrendering. They're being beat down. I'm telling you, whatever they were trying to do, seems to be happening in their own life here. This is a card about conflict being around them. This is a card about disagreements, people being very competitive now with them. So what they were putting out, basically, they're getting back the same aggression, the same bullying, the same hostility, the same kind of intimidation, because I do feel like there was a lot of that. They wanted to win at all costs, and that is happening to them, and they are just exhausted from it. And here's the, here's the real kicker. People see them. For who they are now i do not know why this person would have been so competitive with you or what you're doing or with the fact that people may be seeing you shine or the fact that you're stepping into the true radiance of who you are here but i'm telling you the cards are very, very clear in terms of this whatever they were doing to you you have been protected. You have been guided. They are definitely finding that out. That is part of the regret here. Pandora's box has been opened in their life and created a lot of mishaps, it looks like. Full-on judgment over here that's really impacted them. Okay, this is sad, really. Look. The devil. I literally just split and it was the devil card. This person could be in all kinds of toxic energy. That does not surprise me at all. Um, I heard somebody say yesterday that everybody doesn't have purpose. I'm, I'm going to throw in my two cents on that. First of all, of course, everyone has purpose. Okay. Um, that's absurd. 
even if you say somebody's here to just harm you or distract you or whatever well that's the purpose okay but the bottom line is even when that is happening even when people are rolling in their shadow self that serves a purpose for the rest of us right a lot of us get closer and begin to reach really deeply and really connect to a higher power right um, we get to find out a little more about who we are. We get to really awaken through some of the most difficult times. Think about the lotus. It comes out of the sludge, the mud to grow into this beautiful, vibrant flower, right? That's who we are as being. So when I hear that, I don't know, it just kind of, <laughs> it shakes me to my core a little bit because I don't think we should ever just discount another human being point blank period. We should not, okay? I pulled some people out of some very, very dark energy, and they're some of the most beautiful people that I know today. So don't ever just discount another human being. But this person, and this is why the higher power, I think, has kind of stepped in here, is putting somebody through judgment so that they can see themselves. What they decide to do with it is really up to them. But I can tell you it has gotten so bad in their life here per these cards that they're going to have to do something. They're going to have to do something. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's keep going. So Spirit, what do we want Sagittarius to know? I'm going to look at you outside of this person as well coming up. May sweet and soft things find you, Sag. This is about getting yourself into harmony, okay? Being able, I think, to really find this clarity, to have this breakthrough, to break from this energy. Yeah, of course. I mean, sometimes it's nice to know that people, you know, that karma is real and people do reap what they sow, but, uh, so, but you can see here that the higher power has you, okay? Now it's time for you to kind of ease back in. Okay, to, to find some kind of harmony within yourself here. There might be some focus here on the inner child as well. And maybe that is nurturing your inner child, getting out there, having fun, doing some exploring, being excited about things. Yeah, that which is true will always be enough. This is about honoring your truth, honoring your or living in your integrity here. This is also about Empress Energy. It could be about expansion. Someone mentioned last week in the comments or a couple of days how Empress Energy is a whole new level. And I could not agree more. Okay, when you have stepped into that energy, you are definitely leaving a lot of toxicity, a lot of BS behind. You do not have time for that anymore to even interact with that. All right, so... I really feel that someone here has been able to or is coming into a place of harmony, okay, where things are going to flow a bit more for you at this particular time, okay, you can obviously see a higher power has seen everything that has happened here, you don't need to worry about what's going on, okay, with this person, people, whomever, who have tried to sort your progress in multiple ways, it looks like, because you can see that a higher power here has you, right? Things are being taken care of. Trust in the places you feel guided towards. Interesting. This could be a past life thing that is carried over as well. This card is definitely about space, time, and self, which is about reincarnation. Okay, so this could be something that carried over as well um, and needed to be put to bed, needed to be handled in a sense. Obviously, you reached higher, which always is going to give you um, a lot of leverage over the enemy. And then we see here kind of what's happening to this person. They're being humbled for sure. Okay. So this is about moving forward. Also trust in the places you feel guided towards. Maybe look at signs and synchronicities and kind of follow your intuition and your guidance um, at this time a lot. I honestly, I let my guidance guide me literally all the time. Okay, sometimes you don't understand what it's, a lot of times you really don't understand what it's for until you get into it and it's like, oh my God, you know, so definitely pay attention to that and move towards things that, I don't know, you just feel drawn to, you feel guided to. The mirror, self-reflection writer in the bigger picture, okay, so this is a time of you for, or for you, I would say, for a lot of self-reflection here. You guys could also be writing quite a bit. I might be dealing with a writer. You could be journaling. Um, I feel like that is part of your reflection for some reason. 
Also, some of you could be channeled writing as well, allowing things to run through you. I honestly, I feel so much. It's not just creativity, it's inspiration, which is in spirit, right? Allowing things to kind of flow through you. Some of you could be writers. All right. Something here about your aura to being stronger as you begin to kind of heal that. And I think grounding is really important for you guys at this time as well. Let's see. Okay, who is Mateo? I don't know why I'm hearing the word Mateo, but the way I heard it was almost like someone, look at that. It's almost like someone is, it was like, oh, Mateo. You know what? It was kind of like a sadness. Hopefully there's not a loss here. Okay, anchor woman. So we have Capricorn Taurus. Wow, look. Okay, this is the problem. People have seen, okay, people see your talent. <laughs> don't, don't ever, okay, yeah, don't think that people don't see your talent. That's been the whole issue here. People have seen your talent. People know what you could do. So if this is a past life thing as well, or something uh, from before that was kind of carried over, honestly, they already know who you are. All right. They know what you're about. It's just a matter of keeping you in the dark in this dense kind of vibration so that you don't know. But I mean, that's not happening. You're coming out into all of this radiance here. OK, you may have something coming up right now that feels to you very safe. Um, it feels very stable in your life. You may feel like you're attaching your anchor to something that is brand new. This could be self-growth. This could be some kind of project that you're doing. This could be a new job, something that makes you feel really good. You could have a person around you that's very supportive. This could be a feminine energy or this could be you as well. But I do think there's something that is going on with you that's going to cause growth here. We have the card of the garden here. For you, it's about growth. It's about expanding yourself. We have Libra, Taurus, Capricorn energy here. It's about expansion in some way and really begin to bloom in your own life here. You need to know that this is going to be creating talk, okay, gossip, pettiness around other people. But it's because your growth is making them feel, unfortunately, like they're in some kind of lack. But you also have to remember that's not about you, okay? Everybody has a personal journey here. People have to strive and focus on their own. So let's keep going. Hammer here. Yeah, I think you're going to be working hard moving forward. It shows me here that you are a warrior here in that hammer energy. Um, you could be building something new here. You could be um, creating something for sure. I just think there's a lot of working that's going on here. And that's your card too. That's fire energy. So Sag, Leo, and Aries energy as well. Yeah. And following your intuition here because I think it's leading you towards some kind of dream fulfillment that you may have had in your life. Some of these things are going to be very unseen as well. This is Cancer energy. It's going to be unseen. So I don't think it is totally in view Okay, it's almost like parts of you are unfolding, okay, with each step that you're taking here, which is really beautiful. So, this is awesome, Sage. I'm going to get a couple more cards, and we're just going to close it out for you guys. All right, Spirit, let's see. What else do you have? What last words of advice do you have for Sagittarius? Worth. You're being asked to honor your worth. It can be so easy to feel like we aren't good enough or worthy of happiness. I'm telling you, that is where someone wanted you at before. But this simply isn't the case, okay? You are worthy and you have inherent worth and value. It's time to cherish yourself and see your true worth. Absolutely. Align. You're being asked to align with your current situation, if, even if it's not easy to do so, and then to trust that there is much to be learned by being here. Pushing against what is will only make things harder on you. Align, surrender, trust. Yeah, everything is probably not where you want it to be just yet, but as you're seeing, and we're seeing over and over for you guys, Sash, the energy is really supporting your growth, okay, and you're moving forward patience. 
You're being asked to practice patience right now. And we know that it's not easy to do this, but you're very strong. And there's a reason why things aren't aligning in the way you want them to in this moment. But have patience because it is going to work out. Yeah. Remember, step by step, we just talked about that, actually. They want you to allow... They're asking you to open up your energy field and to take down your walls of protection in order to allow all the goodness into your life. Sometimes without even realizing it, we block ourselves from the flow of life. And they're saying it is safe to open yourself back up. There's something that you're going to be doing here where you're speaking up. We've already saw the book here. Maybe you're helping other people with your voice through your insights here. Maybe you're speaking up on a particular issue. Okay, on a particular issue. I don't know why I heard disease. I don't know if some of you maybe have like support groups or something like that where you speak on stuff like Parkinson's or, you know, can't, I mean, I don't really know. It's some, it could be some, anything like that. It says it's time to let it out so you can be, oh, so that you can move on and be happy. Okay, so you could also be speaking to another person in uh, as well. It says you can't keep this in forever. All right, but it is time to let something out, to speak up on it, not to hide anymore. There was some kind of, there could have been some kind of abuse up here. I don't want to lie. Okay, definitely some kind of abuse that has happened here. That is obviously behind you before. You're very heavily protected. You're guided very heavily by a higher power. Whoever did this to you, try to keep you back, trying to keep you from stepping into all of your radiance here has clearly been through a lot of judgment here. And we can already see that you're heading towards something that is going to feel much more stable, that's really going to grow for you, okay? But you got to continue following your intuition here and working on it, okay? It looks like it's definitely happening for you, so... Okay, that's what I have for you guys, Sagittarius. Hopefully that will resonate. If it does, don't forget to hit the like button. I will see you guys again very soon. Have a good one. Bye.